When we engage in sexual activity, one of the first things that happens is sensors in the skin send messages to the cerebral cortex. The brain then releases increasing amounts of dopamine, the chemical of desire. The heart starts to beat faster, increasing the flow of blood to the skin and genitals. As dopamine levels reach their peak, the brain releases a massive dose of endorphins, creating a feeling of immense pleasure and euphoria. All focus is channeled to the end goal, the orgasm. After orgasm, the brain releases serotonin and prolactin, which trigger a fall in dopamine, telling us we've had enough. Desire fades and we are left, hopefully, fulfilled and just a little bit sleepy. Now, orgasms can be amongst the most intensely pleasurable of experiences, but even so, I don't think most people would want their lives utterly dominated by them. A properly functioning pleasure system should encourage even the most dedicated of Casanovas to seek a range of pleasures. But what if you don't have a choice? Johanna suffers from a rare condition, which demonstrates graphically what happens when the pleasure of orgasm goes wrong. It started about six and a half years ago, and I welcomed it at first because I'm an old lady <laughs> and I wasn't very sexual before that time, so I welcomed it because it wasn't always there. But within a period of three months, uh, the symptoms were there 24 hours a day. And then I realized something was wrong. It feels like being on the verge of an orgasm. It's like someone with a remote control pushed the freeze button. That's the feeling. I felt disgusting. I was ashamed about those feelings uh, on which I responded with masturbation because I wanted to get rid of that feeling. I needed to get rid of that feeling. It, it was making me crazy. Johanna lives in Holland one of the few places where doctors study and treat her condition, restless genital syndrome, or REGS. Professor Marcel Waldinger thinks he has finally identified the cause. Restless genital syndrome is not at all emotional. It's a neurological disorder. It is a very small nerve called the dorsal nerve of the clitoris, the DNC. The DNC is one of the main nerves associated with the female orgasm. For some reason in women who suffer from REGS, this nerve is constantly stimulated, convincing the body it is about to have an orgasm. These feelings are always there, and sometimes the intensity is so high that I'm not able to concentrate on anything else. I'm afraid to engage in, in new relationships because of my experience. I choose to live a life of isolation. They get very agitated, often desperate. A small part is even suicidal. There is no pleasure whatsoever in orgasm. It's only a short moment of relief, following by the same feeling as before or even worse. People think that it is very pleasurable, but it is terrible for these women. So there's really nothing pleasurable in having wrecks. It is a disaster for the women.